everybody, I'm Sammy. I haven't made a video in a while. Sorry about that. I meant to get you before the full moon. But I want to talk about today this energy that we're in now of Leo season. There's so much going to be happening this week. We've already come through this weekend of the full moon, but that energy will still be here for a few days. So I want to talk about this jam-packed week, but also this month coming into August as well. So Leo season began early this year on the 22nd. Normally it starts on the 23rd of July. So we've been in Leo season now three days, four days. Um, I'm making this video on Monday, the 26th. So I want to make this quick because I start talking about the astrology and then the video is three hours long. So the main key points I want to go over for Leo season are going to be the moons, okay? They're both two full moons this season of Leo. So we had one on the 23rd and the 24th, wherever you were in the world, last Friday slash Saturday. And then we have another one in Aquarius in the same sign on August 22nd. So that's called a blue moon when you have two full moons in the same month. So it was a blue moon, but it was also, I think, a called a bull moon or buck moon. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, the point is this month is huge for transformation, changes in humanity, as we've already seen a lot of protests happening around the world because of this Aquarian energy. So Leo is usually a little bit more focused on the self, but we are coming into a more social sign. So Leo is a very social sign. Uh, the past four or five signs since Aries are more about internal and the self. So now we're doing a more social, external experiment moving into Leo season. So with these aqua moons, we are focused on humanity and we are focused on our individuality as well. That's Aquarius. But Aquarius is a rebel and pushes buttons and maybe pushes you to be a little uncomfortable. Pushes for progressive new ideas for what's best for everyone. So while we're in this Leo season, kind of focus on going after what we want, especially with Mars here. Mars will be here until the 29th, then it moves into Virgo. But with Mars here with the Sun and Leo, expect more sexual energy, expect more focus on the self, maybe in a negative way, so we want to watch out for that, more argumentative energy, and a little bit more aggression and turmoil because Mars is more about what you want to fight for, how you take action, what you want, and how you're going to get it. And Leo is a natural born leader and not so much an initiator like Aries, but is willing to step up and follow their heart, right? So Leo have a huge heart. So this is about following your heart, moving in the direction of what's best for you emotionally and when it comes to your happiness keeping in mind these full moons bringing in this Aquarian energy all month long, twice until the end of August or August 22nd. We get to go over it twice. So this is huge for humanity. This is a big deal. Astrology is done on purpose. Okay, so think about how the universe works and it's just so perfect. Every little detail brings up something else for us to discover about ourselves, about the collective, about where we're headed individually, which is this Aquarian energy, but also Aquarian energy is humanity. So I want you to be thinking about what you want as an individual, embracing your individuality, and your authenticity. Okay, so standing up for yourself. Leo can be hard-headed, it's a fixed sign, stubborn a little bit, but it's good in the sense that you, you're not gonna back down when you want something. 
and Mars is just going to push that even more until the 29th. Okay, so this last moon is bringing up new things for us to see, things that are affecting all of humanity, that have been affecting all of humanity, and that is going to get even stronger on the next moon. So you may be feeling um, more willing to fight for others, to fight for humanity as a whole. New important information is going to be coming out on a large scale and quickly. So try to keep up. If you watch mainstream media, maybe don't do that. Uh, you may see some things come out there, but I would get uh, try to get on a platform where free speech is encouraged and um, not so much you know, censorship. So, uh, Telegram is a great place for that. I would like to build the Telegram page there for this channel. If you go to Sammy Lane on Telegram, there's a chat and then there's just a page where um, I post things, but you can post things in the chat and we can all share and talk about other information that's not really out in the mainstream. So that is a great place for us to build a more open-minded community where we can share information. <laughs> okay, get get what I'm putting down. So, along with all of that energy, along with rallying together for humanity, I'm hoping that's what happens, there is a fight brewing and people want change. This has been happening, it's gonna keep getting stronger, but right now, it's really amping up and Mars isn't playing around you know and this Leo Sun is like now you've got the mojo like now you're embracing your confidence more you may be wanting to go out more with friends uh, you may be feeling just more confident in yourself even in your looks more self-esteem more comfortable standing your ground and speaking your truth and being your authentic self, which is also part of Aquarius. So being that they're opposites, we really need to look at both sides here and try to embrace them both. So be careful with challenges with others. Try to come from a peaceful place because that aggression is just going to be ready. You know, it's just in there right now. So keep in mind that it's in others too. So it's okay to gently or calmly share your points of view in a manner that it may still be offensive, you know, because they, they may not agree with you. But as long as you're coming from your heart, you're following your own truth or what you know to be true and following uh, your gut instinct of where your happy place is, you know, emotionally. So we may be letting go of things. That happens a lot with full moons. A lot of things. Truth comes out with full moons. And we get to see the harvest. We get to see what we've been accumulating and working for since the new moon and since the last moon. So, so much information coming out. Be looking for that. Be ready for that. And um, if you can tell, there's a lot of desperate people now. Desperate. And more and more information is coming out. So that is just so great and, and intriguing as well and uh, exciting. So along with that, Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter is a hot topic right now because it's in the very early degrees of Pisces moving back in its retrograde towards Aquarius. So on the 28th, which is just two days away, it will be moving back into Aquarius. So to see how this affects you, you need to go to your chart and look for the cusper, the Pisces Aquarian cusp in your chart and see which houses that's going to be affecting for you. So we're moving back into Aquarius, which is just amplifying these Aquarian moons, you know, and Jupiter's going to go back there with Saturn. Saturn is in Aquarius now, so this is about restriction. And uh, Jupiter's going to expand on that. Don't be surprised if you see more lockdowns. Don't be surprised if there's different regulations about uh, coverings and schooling or work or um, businesses being affected by restrictions or regulations, things like that. Um, crypto markets, anything having to do with technology will be expanded again. 
So that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, especially Jupiter brings expansion and growth, but with Saturn there, Saturn kind of wins there. So <laughs> Jupiter, it may not be so great. You know, um, it may be expanding on those restrictions. But this Leo is just really going to fight. We're going to want to pop off on those restrictions because it's been so long since we've been or felt restricted and we want things to go back to normal and we have to find a new normal. Um, and we may have to fight to get there and that's fine. We've fought for many things over the history of humanity so we're willing to do that again. Uh, so watch that Jupiter, okay, going into Aquarius. That is where it will affect you most. So, um, for instance, for me, Jupiter has been in Pisces for the last couple months. I gained weight. Pisces is my sun sign and it's my eighth house. So I gained weight. It's my seventh, eighth house. If you look, if you do Placidus, so. Um, it's gone from my 8th house, which is death. I lost my grandmother two weeks ago. Now it's going back into Aquarius, which is my 7th house relationship house. So it's going to go back, probably do add some restrictions on my long-term relationships or partnerships. Hopefully not, but, you know, maybe just expanding more uh, in the sense of how I'm learning to deal with people in long-term relationships or family members. So just look at what it is for you. It could be um, going into your money house or um, your house dealing with your mind. And it maybe will expand and open your mind more if it's moving into your third house and open up communication and get you excited about humanity. So just look and see how that will affect you. For some people, maybe the sixth house and then you're going to be uh, maybe changing the way you do things, maybe implementing more technology or working more with technology um, into business or your everyday tasks. So if you have any more questions on that, feel free to email me uh, or if you want to book a personal reading, feel free to email me or find me on Telegram. Um, so a few key points. I probably already touched on these, but I want to make sure that we know this. With the Leo energy, Leo's kind of like me first, you know, like the king and queen, very regal, very listen to me, I'm the boss, center of attention, and it's not always a bad thing. Sometimes you need to have that confidence in order to push for something that you believe in or stand up for yourself or take a leadership role and guide others from the heart, from a good place, right? We know that. So listening to others is going to be key. That helps implement these Aquarian moons where we're looking more at humanity as a whole, where we're looking more towards the future, being more progressive, where are we going, and Saturn there in Aquarius, uh, it kind of makes more difficult aspects to the sun. It's opposing the sun and then uh, we'll be opposing Mars. Um, uh, that probably already happened because Mars is leaving and going to Virgo. So. On the 29th, Mars will go into Virgo, which is more hardworking, which is more practical, uh, more about analytics, looking at every little detail, and Venus is there too. So I want to mention Venus there in Virgo because your relationships may feel strained at this time uh, because Venus in Virgo, it can be more judgmental, can be more analytical, want to analyze everything, want to go back over everything, want to talk about it again, want to rediscover and reassess, and can be very critical, overly critical. Not too happy there in Virgo, Venus. So be aware if you're doing that. <laughs> You're just going to do it. It's going to be too late. And you're going to be like, oh shit, I did that already. Um, but really just try to calmly express yourself because this energy will pass, but it's always for a reason. So these things come up for a reason. We really need to think about why they're happening, why we're being affected, uh, and what we can do moving forward. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, also, Venus and Virgo, you may be focused more on your body, dieting, um, beauty, health. And this could be really great for money, especially if you have great Virgo placements. But um, Venus isn't too strong in Virgo, but this could be a great time for planning, new business uh, plans like uh, new buildings, new structures, as far as um, new ideas or writing out like a business plan or uh, starting a new business, new investments. And we just want to be careful and watch the stock market and crypto markets at this time when Jupiter comes out of Pisces and back into Aquarius. The market may be shaky. I'm hoping that the crypto goes back up. We've already seen it start going up, Bitcoin. Uh, but just be cautious, more so than usual. I know all investments are a risk when it comes to that, but more so than usual. Um, this would be a good time to possibly make some money um, as far as selling things but I wouldn't want to buy a bunch of stuff and get stuck with it that's all I'm saying okay so remember to listen to others their val their values their opinions what what is meaningful for them because they are part of the collective and that overall helps us all get a better view of where we're going, what we all want, and what's going to be best for everyone. While at the same time, embracing that individual self, your authentic self, your authentic truth, okay? And, um, and so be open to others' needs instead of, try not to focus too much on yourself is what I'm saying, because Leo can do that. And Leo is the performer and the clown and the jokester and wants to have fun all the time. And it's like the little kid. And it's great and it's a fun energy. But with all this heavy Saturn Aquarian moons, I'm thinking this Leo is more to step up into leadership roles. It's more to embrace your true heart and what makes you happy following those things. And that is what will cause a clash and cause this revolution because... Saturn in Aquarius wants to kind of hold us down, humanity as a whole. So it's going to be more about finding out ways to fight for those things, push for more progressive future for humanity, and um, Saturn rewards hard work too. So as long as we're pushing towards something good, I feel like something good can come out of this, but there just may be a battle that ensues because of this energy. So keep that in mind with other people too. Um, so we wanna focus more on service to the whole, okay? And, but based on the individual changes that we're making because we can only change ourselves. So I just channeled a little bit the other day and I wrote this down, so I'm just gonna read it. I may have already touched on this, but just so I, cause I, don't, I haven't read this in a few days. Okay, so with an evolved Leo courageous heart, where have you required or demanded perhaps too much from others, expected too much from others? A reminder and a call to serve and return to serve or service to the whole or service to all instead of the service to self. Based on the individual changes that we can make only on ourselves, evolving humanity as a whole by individually one by one increasing our awareness of the self so increasing our awareness of our own selves but even that will help change one by one you know humanity as a whole i think that's what i was channeling so the role that we each play and how we affect others the inner self and what we want for humanity moving forward um so the second moon that comes in on the 22nd will be conjunct jupiter in aquarius so this can bring blessings, can bring a feeling of a brighter future. Um, but I just know from now to then, so much is going to be coming out that uh, we may get a preview at that time of what's to come. Uh, or maybe just feel, get a sense of what we want and really believe in the possibility of a better future for humanity as a whole. 
And so um, remember that Jupiter expands anything, good or bad, and can expand whatever emotion that you're feeling. So if you are feeling sad, you may feel extra sad. <laughs> And if you are happy, you may be super elated and almost manic. Okay, so all month long we're embracing our uniqueness and our individuality while keeping in mind the service to others and how your own individual voice can help the whole. So how can we contribute? And then I already warned about the aggression. Okay, sexual energy is increased argumentative energy is increased your own personal needs and wants that feeling that urge to to demand of others or to really just too reliant on your own needs will make you more snappy and then that Venus in Virgo is way more judgmental so you may find yourself getting in little arguments here and there fighting for what you think is best for you instead of listening to others that's why I mentioned when you share an important opinion that is your own of what you need or want just be open-minded to whatever you receive back and and look at it with the same importance so less importance on the self more important on the others in your life and others as a whole uh, this Aquarian energy okay and then also on the 29th when Mars goes into Virgo as well as taking action and work oriented things if this is a great time to declutter to organize clean out your closets donate whatever you can you know give stuff away and free the space to allow more abundance or the things that you're working toward to come in so all of that clutter causes stress Mars coming into Virgo will be ready to take action plan it out organize develop uh, a better structure about a better foundation in your home so look at where Virgo is in your chart as well and that house will be aspected more by Mars on the 29th okay focus more on health diet physical things and so just try not to nitpick others or be overcritical of others this energy will pass but I hate saying that because it's like with astrology Anytime something happens, it's so easy to look in hindsight like, oh, that's why that happened. But when you're using predictive astrology, you can say, oh, it could be this, or it could be that, or it could be that. Be careful of this. You know, um, but the point is, once it's happened, you feel like, in the moment, you feel like, well, this is how I feel very strongly. You know, even though you're being aspected by Venus, or you're being aspected by Jupiter, or the Sun, or the Moon. And then once it passes, it's not so important anymore. But that's the thing, you don't want to throw it away like, oh, that was just because of that one transit and now it's done. It was happening for a reason, so every little thing pulls out something more. It's another fragmented piece of your soul over here or over there or another issue, issue that you had, you know, years ago or, or childhood trauma or relationship trauma. Any little thing. And so it's important to share those the people who are affected by you in your life and when you're affected by others in that way it's easier to to look within and reflect on what is actually happening within me at this time why is this bothering me you know and when those emotions come up you don't want to neglect that or avoid that it's coming up to be healed and the more that we heal all of those fragments the more we pull into ourselves our complete and embodied higher self and soul the more ready we are to move into a better earth a new earth a better humanity better versions of ourselves which bring in so much more abundance so try not to overthink things too much try to embrace others listen to others and be willing to hear your own self not your thoughts but your own heart and intuition and higher self about where your true happiness lies and move towards that this month so as i was shutting off the camera spirit was like no you need to pull some cards so i wasn't planning on doing it but i'm just going to pull a couple for the collective as far as what we can expect this leo season what we should be doing 
Let's get firstly, let's get an oracle card. I think. This deck is Wisdom of the Oracle. This will be for Leo season for the collective spirit. Please give us clear interpretations, clarity for the highest good of all humanity and those watching. What can we expect for this Leo season as a whole? Okay, higher energy. The sun has already been way more active recently, but. Okay, so more energy, that's good. But I feel spirit is saying more energy on the planet. Okay, so let's keep an eye on the shoe in resonance this season. And that energy is going to completely just amplify and exaggerate that Mars and Sun and Leo that we're already feeling. So that aggression, you know, people get irritable when Schumann resonance is high. Um, you may have heart palpitations. You may have trouble sleeping. You may feel heavy energy. You may be really tired. You may feel depleted. And that's anyway with any solar flare, any uh, cosmic energy that would be hitting the planet. So let's see. Piercing energy development. I don't know what that means, but energy development. Energy towards development. Developing maybe self development. Fork in the road. Okay, number 13. Fork in the road. I think that's true. It's time for us to make a choice. So humanity as a whole is making a choice and we're choosing the timeline and we need to be doing this individually as well. Um, so you can do this through meditation, through envisioning the best possible timeline for you, what you want in your future, what you envision the new earth to look like, what you envision the future of humanity to be, how the world should look in the next few years to you and what changes you want to see. Uh, but we're definitely having to make some decisions and we have observer number 49 so the key to observing or being the observer is that we don't judge what we're seeing we don't make a decision quickly and take sides being the observer especially when we're observing our own thoughts the key to that is just not doing anything about it allow those thoughts to come in and then allow them to leave without taking them on as your own personal truth. So if it's not helpful, get it out of there. Especially if it's not true, get it out of there. Most of our thoughts are not true. And so that goes along with our opinions and our beliefs. Think about how many beliefs we have based on someone else's idea of truth. Our parents, the media, you know, social groups, and those things may not even be true for us. So let's observe our thoughts this month. Let's observe others around us without getting that emotional involvement and attachment. We do have to make a decision coming up. We have this fork in the road. We're already feeling this, I think. There's many things in our life right now, everyone individually, but also as a whole, where we have to decide where we want to go from here. We have to rebuild better systems, better ways of doing things. And that fork in the road energy can be overwhelming because you may not know what to do or you may feel like you need to make a decision and you don't even know what your choices are, you know? But it's like, this is where that Leo energy comes in where wherever your heart is telling you to go, your heart may be telling you to leave something behind. Your heart may be telling you to follow your dream that everyone told you you could never do. That happy place, that passion, that joy, that's what we need to focus on because that ultimately is all that matters. And, and the more we all focus on 
what makes us happy, our true joys and passions. That's when we move into New Earth. That's when humanity can change. And that's when we feel more peaceful and whole and complete and fulfilled. And uh, not always constantly looking to fill the void. So do what you're passionate about. Follow your heart with this choice that comes up. Spirit, please give me a few cards for the collective as to what we can expect for Leo season. Yeah, for sure. We're being given an opportunity to make the choice. And for those of you who don't know anything about Dolores Cannon, she talks about in her work uh, she was a hypnotherapist who started doing quantum healing where they take you deeper than just subconscious hypnotism. It's to a soul level. So through hypnosis you can pull a lot of data from people straight from their soul or straight from spirit or straight from their heart or self. So through this she collected data from thousands of her clients and she talked about the splitting of 3D and 5D Earth. And you can find this on YouTube. There's tons of her videos. Dolores Cannon. And um, she talked about the way you choose the higher path. The way you make sure that you go with the planet and you go to the new earth. Is you have to be more than 51% for others. In service to others. And this Aquarian energy I really... is really feel that's bringing that in for us more so now and it's a perfect time you know with Leo because Leo wants to kind of focus on themselves so this is the time where we have to kind of snap back like kind of be a little hard on ourselves and think about how we've treated others right now what are we expecting of others right now and is that fair and um, in order to realign ourselves with our mission on the planet, realign ourselves with our soul's potential, with this lifetime's potential, what we came to do, and help humanity as a whole. Most light workers here on the planet right now are here for that very reason. So what are you doing to contribute? Do you feel that you're more in service to self with the decisions you make with your everyday life? Or are you more in service to others? The more we're in service to others, the more everyone is happy and whole and healed because we're all helping each other. Nobody wins when we're only for ourselves. You know, even that life is very lonely. All of these jumped out, so I'm just going to take them. We've got the sun. Okay, happiness. Nine of wands in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. Two of cups in reverse. Nine of Swords in Reverse, and Nine of Wands in Reverse. So when it comes to your happiness, following your happiness, following the Sun, which is Leo. So for this Leo season, I feel we will find our most happy place when we, Nine of Wands Reverse, uh, drop our guard. Okay. Drop our guard to others. Open up to others listening to others three of cups reverse can be can be um, maybe more so focusing on the emotional effects of friendships some of us may be having to leave behind some friendships um, or relationships period you may be finding out too about friendships that you thought were one way but they're really another or relationships that you thought were one thing but were really more negative or really have a more toxic effect on your life and you may be needing to let that go two of cups is soulmate connection or partnership connection and it's in reverse so this is more so about breakups shakeups in relationships and changes just with humanity as a whole i think trying to find new ways to connect because We've been uh, kind of out of sync with one another. Nine of Swords Reverse. This is focusing more on your own healing, but really what you can do for others. Not worrying about 
not worrying so much about the future, but I feel that many are feeling like it's not going to get better. And that energy is not going to help us. I know that that may be something that we can't really escape from all the time. But we can find better things to be focused on, things to be grateful for. And the Knight of Wands reverse. Knight of Wands reverse can, can feel like someone's taking advantage of you. We're feeling like someone um, just wants, you know, in some ways this could be someone wanting you for the wrong reasons. Or someone wanting you just for sex. Or someone just wants to have fun. Or someone who plays too much. Maybe someone who um, is very risky in a bad way. You know, maybe wants more adventure, but kind of takes advantage of others in that sense. So, I think we, we really need to go to our happy place. Stop giving so much to situations that aren't giving back to you. And I, and that may seem contradictive to everything I've been saying because I've been saying be in service to others and all that stuff. Of course, of course be in service to others. But if it's draining you or these are negative toxic people, absolutely not. You have to discern that and know are these people worth your time? Are these people helping you as well? Is there reciprocity? Is there a community feeling or, or are you gaining something and giving something? This should never be one-sided, ever. So service to others does not mean that, that it should just be you giving eternally forever. Everyone needs to give, but everyone is getting something out of it too. So if there's not that, you got to get out of there. If it's your job, if it's friendships, if it's family member, you know, confrontation or somebody using you, that has to go. And this is about your individuality, embracing your individuality. Um, like I've been saying, this whole season is about embracing those parts of you that are helpful to others. Embracing your authentic self and truth. Embracing yourself in a way that you're unafraid, fearlessly going for what makes you happy. Not saying step on everybody else's toes. You know what I'm saying. Don't be thinking like, well, Sammy said that I should just be doing whatever I want and following my happiness. You should, but not if it's hurting others. <laughs> okay, so happiness. Letting your guard down. Speaking more freely with others. Um, be careful with indulging, overindulging in things. And be careful with the media, the social media and um, mainstream media that you're taking in. Uh, communications and gossip okay so be careful with those things but also there there are breakups and shakeups here so this could be family members this could be business partners there's just an energy of making it more difficult to compromise because we all feel this ramped up energy and we all want things they may be similar or they may be different but coming together may be a little bit more difficult for this time. When Mars moves into Virgo on the 29th, it may be easier in a few days from now, but we will have that shift from Jupiter and everyone's gonna feel it two days from now on the 28th. Okay, it will move into Aquarius. And, and so this worry, we have to let go of this worry it's like a fear of letting go almost. It's like a fear of letting go of something that's toxic. But you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to fight for it anymore. It's it's like almost like giving up on, on toxic relationships or friendships that have caused you this pain and worry. And you know if this is you. Or, or you know which relationship this is that's affecting your life. Could be your boss. Could be your lover. Could be your mother, you know, could be anyone, could be your best friend. But this is about maybe saying things that are too harsh, maybe speaking too soon as well. Knight of Wands can be taking action or communication that isn't really well thought out, so be careful not to say things that you don't mean. Let's see if there's anything else. Of 
Spirit, can you clarify any more on this reading for us? Okay, <laughs> wow. The Devil and High Priestess. This is literally like, like a fight between good and evil. And it's you discerning what's in your life that is negative and what's in your life that's positive. That is actually your intuition, that you're actually being guided to go to that happy place. The devil can be what you're working towards. It can be hard working energy um, and it can be sexual energy. So you want to make sure that your heart is in the right place this month, that you're not looking more towards lust or sexual interactions. Um, because that Mars energy is doing that as well and that aggression. The devil can be really anything negative or toxic or it could just be overdoing anything, overindulging, overworking, you know, like workaholic type thing. But I really, the way these popped out and Page of Pentacles, and it goes Page to the Knight of Pentacles with King of Wands. So we're wanting to Take these opportunities, okay? Even if it takes a long time to get there, we're looking more towards the long term right now for humanity as a whole but and individually. What opportunities are coming up for you now as Jupiter moves back into Aquarius where you get to revisit those things? Jupiter was in Aquarius before, went into Pisces, and now it's going back into Aquarius. So before May 13th of this year, Jupiter was in Aquarius. So think of the time between last year mid-december 2020 up until the early may of this year 2021 that's where jupiter was in aquarius if you had opportunities and you missed them or you didn't go for them now you could get a second chance at that and i'm feeling like you're getting a chance we're all getting a chance to find our happy place by talking more sharing more being honest about who we are even if it means letting go of something we're afraid to letting go of the old ways of doing things embracing a new way you know and it has its challenges but this opportunity are these opportunities are coming back around and knight of pentacles is this slow and steady slow and steady wins the race it's a commitment it's disciplined it's diligent it's hard working and it knows it's going to pay off eventually so it's a very good opportunity you just have to be willing to put in the work and then we have King of Wands. So that is a, like a Leo energy. And that is uh, going for what you want. And it's exciting and passionate and creative. And it lights you up. So a creative opportunity perhaps. Or something that you may have been afraid to go for. And now Spirit is saying you're getting a second chance. So don't miss this chance, okay? You do have the Tower and Queen of Pentacles. So you may have uh, a few Tower moments coming up this, this month, over the next month. Where shakeups and breakups, changes in jobs, changes you may be moving. Um, unexpected things that come up that change the way you had planned on doing things. And it's always a good thing. So I'm looking forward to these changes. We all need to make those shifts. We all need to let go of negative habits. We all need to choose the right path, the narrow path, you know, pull ourselves away from the media and, and what we're being shown because that's not reality and that's, that's not where we want humanity to be or where we want to go. And I don't think by any means we should be accepting things how they are or just, oh, that's just how it is. We need to be pushing for what's best for everyone right now. We do that by choosing the highest good for ourselves and everyone else. I hope you got something out of this reading. I hope you're ready to uh, choose a path, take this, choose on this uh, fork in the road, and be willing to kind of see through the BS on what is toxic for you, what is good for you, what lights you up, and, and what new opportunities are you getting this Leo season. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.